Hello world, welcome to Decode Mania. I am Sahil and I am developing an application on selling digital content with Stripe Payment Gateway integration using Bootstrap 4, jQuery, PHP and MySQL. And in previous video you have seen that how I have integrated Stripe Payment Gateway both on client and server side. Now this is the fifth video of the series in which I am going to show you how to store payment details into the database and also how to send project files to the customer's email once payment is succeeded. Okay. So let's start. So first I will create a new table to store payment details. Okay. So for this I will open my PHP my admin and here you can see this is the database stripe underscore digital. Now inside this database I will create a new table with name orders. Okay. Orders and just add 10 more columns. Click on go now first column will be id and type will be int mark this auto increment and make this primary key okay now second column will be name that is customer name okay type will be worker and length will be 255 next will be customer email worker 255 and next will be item underscore name that is pro product name okay and worker 255 and then item underscore number worker and just use 10 then here i will use item sorry item underscore price worker uh, 50 or just like 100 and then uh, currency currency worker and just use 10 and then transaction id txn underscore id worker 255 and then payment status payment underscore status worker 100 okay and then session underscore id worker 255 next created and this will be a timestamp by default just select current underscore timestamp updated sorry updated this will be also a timestamp and just select current timestamp okay now click on save now you can see our orders table has been ready okay now just open your project okay now go to action.pg file here I will just add one more thing in this success underscore URL. Actually, from if payment is successful, then we will send a checkout session ID to this success.php file in the URL. Okay. So here I will just use this question mark session session underscore ID equal to and within curly braces I will write checkout underscore session underscore id okay along with this i will also send product id okay so for this here i will use m percent id equal to and here i will concatenate with id okay now save this and go to success.php file okay and here let me show you this is receiving or not so here i will use h1 then php sort and tag dollar underscore get and then here i will use session underscore id okay copy the same thing and here just use id save this and if i suppose i want to buy this one and click on this buy now button and wait okay this is the checkout page now let's let me write my email mania 44 at the rate gmail.com and card information some valid date name and click on pay okay 
once the payment is processed and it redirect to success.php page then you can see we are getting this session id in the url and also the product id in the url okay and you can see we are also getting here okay now using this uh, session id we will retrieve all the payment and details okay so just come here and delete these two lines now just above this i will just write php coding okay so here what i will do is i will first include auto load dot php file okay so just use require ones and just write vendor slash auto load dot php file i will also use db dot pg file so just use require once db dot pg file and create an object of database class so db underscore uh, sorry db equal to new database class okay and next i will also create a variable message equal to and assign empty value next i will use a condition if not empty dollar underscore get equal to session underscore id okay if session id is uh, received in this url then only this if a statement will be executed okay if we just remove this uh, from url and hit refresh then this if if a statement will not be executed okay so here we will store the session id in a variable session underscore id okay using this super global variable get method now next uh, i will set api key for this just go to action.php file and just copy the same line from here and paste okay next we will fetch uh, the details payment details okay so for this here i will write try and create a variable checkout underscore session equal to stripe okay stripe checkout and i will use this retrieve sorry stripe sorry 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 check out and then session and then retrieve okay and here i will pass this session underscore id okay and in catch i will handle the exception so just use exception dollar e and here i will create a variable api underscore error okay and here i will use dollar e get message okay now next i will again use another if a statement and here i will check if empty okay if empty api error it means there is no error and here i will use checkout sorry checkout underscore session then inside this i will uh i will retrieve the details of the payment intent okay so for this also i will use try and catch block and here i will create a variable intent then here i will use stripe sorry not a stripe stripe and then here i will use payment intent and again i will use this retrieve method and here i will pass this checkout underscore session and then i will use this payment intent property okay next here i will use catch and in catch i will use this stripe stripe exception api error exception and then dollar e now here again i will use the same api underscore error and dollar e we will use this get message okay get message method now i will also 
get the customer detail okay so for this i will again use another track and catch block so here i will just create a variable customer equal to stripe and then customer retrieve and here just pass checkout underscore session and then just use customer okay and in catch actually i will use the same so just copy and paste okay now next what i will do is here i will again use if a statement and here i will use empty if api underscore error is empty and this intent okay then what i will do is i will again use another if statement inside this and using intent we will use this status sorry status and i'll check if a status is equal equal to succeeded okay as you will see double e d d succeeded succeeded means the payment is confirmed okay now inside this we will get all the product details and the payment details okay to get the product detail we will use the product id okay you can see this is the product id so by using this product id we will get all the product details from the database okay so here what i will do is i will create a variable product sorry product underscore id equal to dollar underscore get and here i will just write id not to fetch not to fetch product from the database uh, we have already defined a method in db.php file you can see fetch product by id okay so we will use this method here in success.php file so here i will create another variable product equal to db object and i will just use this fetch product by id and here i will pass id okay not id actually here i will pass product underscore id okay next uh, what i will do is i will just create a variable item underscore name okay and using product i will use product underscore name column to get the product name similarly i will also use this project underscore file equal to product and here i will write project underscore file column name by using this we will get the project file name that is present inside this uploads folder and this files directory okay now next what i will do is if we just use print r and just print the intent just come here and refresh this page and wait okay so you can see we are getting so many information of the products and the customer in object format okay you can see here like uh, uh, amount okay and like country like email like name okay and also you can see here we are getting a status also status is succeeded so you can get any uh, data from this okay so let me just close this and come here just remove this line and here i will grab the name first okay so here i will just use intent and then charges now in charges i will go to this data array and i will go to this in the first array and then billing address billing address and then name okay now let me check that name is getting or not so just echo the name and refresh here 
okay and wait okay so we are getting some error in line number 41 okay so where is the problem mm, intent charges data zero billing not billing address here we have to write billing details okay save this and refresh okay so we are getting the customer name okay so similarly like this we have to fetch all the details so i'll use email equal to intent actually we can simply grab the email from customer okay so just write email and then transaction id txn underscore id equal to intent and then i will use id okay and amount equal to sorry intent intent then amount to get the actual amount we have to divide it by 100 okay and then currency currency equal to intent and then just write currency okay and then payment status so here i will just use status equal to intent and then status okay now all the details is grabbed now we have to just uh, store these details into the database okay but before going to do this we have to check that if any uh, record with the session id is already present in the database then we will not insert again and again same uh, payment details okay so for this we have to define another method in db.php file okay so let's open db.php file and here i will define two method okay first one for is checking the existing order and second one for inserting payment information okay so here i will first use existing payment order here just write check existing payment order method okay and here just write public function existing order and here just pass session underscore id as parameter and inside this sorry inside this i will write sql query select asterisk from orders where where session underscore id equal to session underscore id okay and then statement equal to sorry this con prepare sql statement execute bind the session underscore id with the value dollar session underscore id okay and we have to grab the row in any variable so just create a row variable and using statement we will call this fetch method and return row okay so this method is completed now next we have to define another method to insert payment details into the data base okay and here just write public function insert payment info okay you can name it anything whatever you like and here in parameter i will pass the name email item underscore name okay and item underscore number and 
item underscore sorry item underscore price and currency and transaction id txn underscore id and then payment status status and here session underscore id okay now just define sql variable and here i will write insert into orders table and here we have to write the um, column name okay so name email item item name item number item price okay and currency currency and transaction id just remove this dollar and then payment uh, payment status just remove this dollar and then session underscore id okay name email item name item number item price currency transaction id payment status and session id okay now in values we have to write the placeholder name the placeholder so i will just copy the same thing okay and paste here and we have to just give colon before the placeholder name so just use this colon okay now next we have to create a statement variable and using this we have to prepare this query okay sql query and then we have to execute this query and bind all the bind all the placeholder with their values okay so first name okay so we have to bind with dollar name for email just bind with the email and for item item name with item underscore name item underscore number with item underscore number item underscore price with item underscore price okay and then currency okay with dollar currency and transaction id with txn underscore id okay and then payment underscore status with dollar payment underscore status and finally just write session underscore id with session underscore id okay and last just use return true save this now both the function are ready to be used okay so just go to success.php file again and next what i will do is i will again use an another if a statement okay if not db sorry not bd db object and call the existing order and pass session id it will check sorry this method will check if any uh, order that is present with the with this session id then the order uh, details will not save again okay and if the session id uh, uh, row is not present there then only the payment details will be saved to the database okay 
now here we will use this db object again using this we will call this insert payment info and here we will just write name email email and item underscore name okay and here i will use this product underscore id and amount okay and currency then transaction id and status and session underscore id okay now let's check that this is working or not save this and here i will just refresh this page okay so just wait okay now go to your database and click on orders table to refresh okay so we are getting all the details in this table okay like name email id item name item number that is product id item price currency transaction id payment payment status and session id okay so we are getting all the things you can also save uh, other details okay uh, if you want to save any other details then you can okay now next we have to send project file to the customer's email when the payment is succeeded okay so for this i will use php mailer library okay so for this what i will do is just search for php mailer okay and just open this first link okay php mailer slash php mailer okay open this link and just go below we have to first install php mailer library into our project so just use this composer command okay so just copy and open the terminal paste this command and hit enter okay it will uh, just download the php mailer library into our project okay so just wait until it finish okay okay so you can see the php mailer library is downloaded successfully just close this and if you go to this vendor folder then there here you can see a php mailer directory is created okay now next what i will do is i will go to this config.pg file and here i will create two more constant okay so i will use this public access specifier again public const and here i will use user name okay and in username i will write my gmail id and public const password here i will write the password of the gmail id okay because uh, here i am using php mailer library okay so i will use gmail smtp server for sending email okay so here i will write my gmail id sahil for rock dot wolf mania at the rate gmail dot com okay wolf mania sahil for rock dot wolf mania at the rate gmail dot com and here i will write my password of this gmail id okay so i am just going to pause this video okay so i have written my gmail id and password in config dot pg file now i will use that username and password here okay but before doing anything let's first here just use another if statement and here i will use this status status equal equal to succeeded now if payment is confirmed then in message variable i will store a message that your payment has been successfully confirmed or anything that you want to display okay here i will just write successful okay and next uh, what i will do is just come here and just copy these lines and paste just above all the codes okay here 
now we have to fix the path of these files okay so here what i will do is just remove this actually here i will write vendor and then php mailer and slash php mailer again okay vendor php mailer src exception php mailer and smtp okay now next uh, we have to create an object of php mailer class okay so mail equal to new php php mailer and here just pass true okay now next just come here and from here what i will do is i will copy this try up to here okay copy and and just go below now paste here okay paste and refresh now just remove this line okay here i will use gmail smtp okay so here just write smtp dot gmail dot com okay and this will be same and in username field i will just use my username okay so how to access username that is uh, just i have created in config.php file okay so for you uh, for accessing we can we will use this database class and then username okay similarly for password i will just use database sorry database class and then password okay this will be same and this will be also same now in set from we have to also use same database username okay and here we can just write the name so here i am writing my channel name and in add address we have to enter the customer's email okay so here i will pass email and here i will pass name okay and i will not use another add address and i will not use this add reply to i will not also use cc and bcc so just remove all this i will use attachment okay so i will use only one attachment so just remove one another attachment and here i will just write uploads slash files slash and then concatenate with project underscore file okay now next this will be a html content so let it be true and here just write subject of the mail so here i will write project from not from from decode mania okay this is the subject line and i will not use alt body so just remove this and in body you can write any message okay so here i will write uh, like download your project or any message that you want to send okay and i will not use this echo so just remove and here i will handle the exception so just let it be same now next what i will do is um, here if i just use else okay now if the payment if the payment is not succeeded in this case what i will do is i will display a message so here i will use this message and here sorry here i will write a message that uh your payment has filled or any message that you want to display okay and next i will use else here and this else is sorry you can see okay 
so again if payment is not succeeded then again we will display another message mm, like transaction transaction has been failed okay and again here i will use another else statement and you can see okay so in this case we will also provide a message message equal to here i will write unable unable to fetch the transaction transaction details details okay and i will also use another else here and here in message i will write transaction has been filled okay now next we have to design this success page so for this i will use bootstrap cdn link here okay so just go to index.php file and copy this link tag and go to this success.php file and paste here okay in title i will just display the message okay and next what i will do is uh inside body i will first give the class to this body tag bg info not on for info now inside body i will create a container container and inside container i will create a row with margin top 5 okay inside this row i will create a column call lg 8 and i will also use mx auto to center this column okay next i will create a card inside this column so just use card and i will also use shadow class now inside this card i will create card header okay now inside this card header i will use h1 uh, with some bootstrap class like text center font weight bold okay and here i will display the message okay next what i will do is i will create card body with another class that is text center and also lead okay now inside card body i will display some payment details okay but before i will check a condition if not empty if not empty txn underscore id then only we will display all the payment details okay so here i will use h4 tag and i will use font weight bold okay and here i will write payment information okay now i will use hr for horizontal line now paragraph tag and inside this i will use b tag and here i will write transaction id and here i will display the transaction id using php sort and tag here i will write write txn underscore id okay similarly i will also display the paid amount okay so here i will write paid paid amount and here i will just write amount okay actually here i will use number format and here i will use amount and i will display two digit after the price okay after the amount so here i will write two and then i will use dot as decimal separator and i will use comma for thousand separator okay now next i will display the payment status okay so for this also i will use b tag payment 
status now payment status here i will just use uc word sorry uc word okay and here i will just use status now next i will just copy the same line here and here i'll write product information okay again i will use hr tag and here i will use paragraph tag and b tag and here i will write product underscore sorry product id and here i will display the product id okay so just write product underscore id and i will display the product name okay so p p product name and here just use this sort and tag item underscore name okay and just below this close int if okay save this now let's go to your browser and let me just go to the home page again refresh this page okay and suppose i want to buy this one so click on buy now and wait now just enter the email so i will write my another email so i'll for rock dot sk and the rate gmail dot com okay here the card information click on pay okay wait now once the payment is succeeded then it will redirect to success.php file with all the details okay you can see a uh, transaction id pay, paid amount and payment status product information and product name if you go to the database and click on orders then you can see all the details of the payment are stored inside this table okay and if we just refresh here okay so mail is not uh, received in the customer email it sometime it may delay okay so let's wait okay so you can see uh, the project has been received to the customer email if we just open this project then you can see this is the project zip folder okay and the message download your project okay so this is all about a stripe payment gateway integration using php and mysql i hope you liked this series if you then please like and share this video and also subscribe this channel see you soon in next video uh, till then keep coding and keep learning